Cop pulls over a successful black man in luxurious car. Then the police captain said this. Officer Johnson's first day on the job was a whirlwind of excitement and anxiety. The streets of New Orleans, with their rich cultural tapestry and bustling activity, presented a stark contrast to the quiet suburbs where he'd grown up. As he navigated through the French Quarter, his eyes were drawn to a gleaming black Tesla Model S, a symbol of luxury and success. Behind the wheel was Thomas Blake, a prominent tech black entrepreneur and philanthropist. Dressed in a designer's suit, Thomas exuded confidence and sophistication. Beside him were his wife, Danielle, an accomplished attorney, and their teenage daughter, Maya, discussing plans for an upcoming charity event. Officer Johnson noticed the car's speed and decided to perform a routine traffic stop. His heart pounded as he approached the vehicle, a mix of first-day jitters and the inherent tension of the unknown. He radioed his position to dispatch and stepped out of his patrol car. Good afternoon, sir, Johnson began, striving to maintain a professional demeanor. Do you know why I pulled you over? Thomas, slightly puzzled but cooperative, replied, No, officer. Was I speeding? You were going a bit over the limit, Johnson said, glancing at his notepad. May I see your license and registration, please? Thomas handed over the documents without hesitation. As Johnson returned to his patrol car to run the details, another patrol car pulled up. Sergeant Richard Harris, a veteran officer with a reputation for being tough and uncompromising, stepped out. Sergeant Harris's eyes narrowed as he assessed the situation. He walked over to Johnson, who was reviewing Thomas's information. "'What's going on here, rookie?' Harris asked, his tone laced with condescension. "'I pulled him over for speeding, Sergeant,' Johnson replied, trying to hide his discomfort. Harris glanced at Thomas and his family, then back at Johnson. "'A car like that in this part of town? Let's have a look inside,' he said, suspicion evident in his voice. Johnson hesitated. There was no probable cause for a search, but Harris's seniority and assertiveness left little room for debate. Reluctantly, Johnson followed Harris back to the Tesla. Step out of the vehicle, all of you, Harris ordered. We need to conduct a search. Thomas, maintaining his composure, questioned the necessity of the search. Officer, we've done nothing wrong. Is this really necessary? Just follow instructions, Harris snapped, his eyes cold and unyielding. The family stepped out, confused and uneasy. Harris began searching the car methodically. Johnson stood by, his conscience gnawing at him. He knew this wasn't right, but he felt powerless to challenge Harris's authority. As the search continued, Harris's frustration grew when he found nothing incriminating. Suddenly, in a shocking move, Harris discreetly pulled a small bag from his pocket and slipped it under the seat. Johnson's eyes widened in disbelief. He had heard rumors of such behavior, but witnessing it firsthand was something else entirely. Well, well, what do we have here? Harris declared loudly, pulling the bag into view. Looks like we've got some drugs. Thomas and his family were stunned. That's not ours. You planted that, Thomas exclaimed, his voice a mix of anger and fear. Harris smirked. Tell it to the judge, he said, reaching for his handcuffs. At that moment, something snapped within Officer Johnson. He couldn't stand by and watch an innocent family be framed. Summoning his courage, he stepped forward. Sergeant, stop this right now, Johnson said, his voice firm and resolute. Harris turned incredulous. What did you say? I saw what you did, Johnson continued, his voice unwavering. You planted that bag. This man and his family are innocent. Harris's face flushed with anger. You better have proof, rookie, or you'll be out of a job. Without hesitation, Johnson pulled out his phone and played a video he had secretly recorded during the search. The footage clearly showed Harris planting the bag. The atmosphere grew tense as Harris's bravado crumbled under the weight of the evidence. Within minutes, backup arrived. The police captain, Anna Rodriguez, stepped out of her car, her expression stern. She'd been alerted by Johnson's earlier radio call for assistance. As she reviewed the video, her face hardened with disapproval. Sergeant Harris, you're under arrest for evidence tampering and misconduct, Captain Rodriguez said, her voice cold with authority. Your actions have disgraced this department. 
Harris, now pale and shaken, was handcuffed and led away by fellow officers. The captain turned to Johnson. You did the right thing, Officer Johnson. It takes courage to stand up against corruption. Thomas Blake and his family were visibly relieved, their ordeal coming to an end. Thank you, Officer Johnson, Thomas said, shaking his hand. You saved us from a grave injustice. Johnson nodded, grateful for their appreciation. I'm just glad I could help. No one should have to go through what you did. Back at the precinct, Captain Rodriguez addressed the assembled officers. Today's events remind us of the importance of integrity and accountability. Officer Johnson exemplified these values, and we must all strive to uphold them. Sergeant Harris's arrest sparked an internal investigation, revealing a troubling pattern of similar incidents. The department vowed to implement stricter oversight and training to prevent future misconduct. The community, initially skeptical, began to see the police force in a new light, recognizing the efforts of individuals like Johnson to bring about a positive change. In the weeks following the incident, Thomas Blake's story spread throughout New Orleans and beyond. He was invited to speak at community forums and on local news programs, sharing his experience and advocating for police reform. Thomas's eloquence and passion inspired many, and he became a prominent voice in the movement for justice and accountability. I never thought something like this would happen to me, Thomas said during one interview, but I'm grateful for Officer Johnson's integrity. This experience has shown me that while there are bad apples, there are also good people willing to stand up for what is right. For Maya Blake, the incident was a profound lesson in the realities of racial profiling and the importance of standing up against injustice. Inspired by her father's resilience and Officer Johnson's bravery, Maya decided to pursue a career in law with a focus on civil rights. This experience opened my eyes to the injustices that still exist in our society, Maya said during a school presentation. I want to be part of the solution to ensure that no one else has to go through what my family did. The story of Officer Michael Johnson and Thomas Blake is a powerful reminder of the impact one person can have in standing up for what is right. In a world where power can corrupt and biases can cloud judgment, it's crucial to remember the values of a justice inequality. Johnson's bravery not only protected an innocent family, but also set a precedent for accountability within the police force. It's through such acts of courage and integrity that we can hope to build a more just and fair society.